Before we start using Figonote software, you always need your MIDI player. We use Simple Synth because it's quick and it's easy and it's free. Uh, you can download this from our software page on our website. Once that's open, we can open our Figonote software. First things first, let's check the time signature. Go to Edit and Set Time Signature. The shortcuts for all of these are here. If you have notes in your piece already, you will lose them, so make sure that you do this first. You can change your beats all the way up to 16. This means that you can extend the notes so that say we're in 6-8, you would have six beats in your bar. Just makes it easier to see, easier to understand. So let's go back to four. Next, we'll add a title. Double click in the title space, write your title in your composer, you can change the font sizes for all of these and including page numbers. If you want no page numbers, just put a zero. You can do portrait, landscape and even adjust all the margins and part spacing within your piece. So it's quite advanced. Next, we'll add parts. Your add parts are at the top here. Just click the arrow to add. You'll need to click in the part if you want to remove it. So let's add a part. Our first part we'll call melody. We make sure that it is a melody part, not a chord or percussion part. If we want treble clef, which doesn't really matter. And here we'll have our chords so we can change to a chord part in bass clef. Okay, so let's input some notes. If we start with the melody part, you can either drag your notes in, like so, or you can double click. This is also the same from your keyboard up here. Now to change the lengths of the notes, we go to our icons on the right hand side. The plus sign extends the note, the minus sign makes the note shorter. There are also shortcuts on the keyboard for this. You'll find those on the software page. You can change the pitch of your notes. For example, if you wanted F sharps, you click on the blue and you do your arrow up. If you find that with your note you would like a B flat, let's say. You could take your either put in a B and go down, or if you have an A in position and you'd like it to be a B flat and it's only going to A sharp, you should go up and back down again. That way you'll get the right direction. To delete a note, just press delete. Now let's look at our chord part. We've already selected the chord part button, so now we can drag our notes in and there will be chords. Again, you can extend them or you can shrink them down. Next we'll look at image size. You can make your piece bigger or smaller with these arrows here. If you want the more advanced Advanced section, you have to go to the page setup and then advanced. And here you can change the gap between the parts or the gap between the staves there. 